hello everyone uh, welcome to another video in today's video I will be upgrading the stock extruder with uh, the metal one which I bought recently online and it just came in the mail like two days ago so I'm gonna install this uh, the reason I bought this because uh, recently I was printing um, with my stock extruder and while I was printing, um, you know, like the print was so long, it was like, I think eight hours in total. So while printing, I went upstairs, like my, I keep my printer down in the basement. So I went upstairs and after two hours, when I came down, I looked at my printer and it was just printing up in the air and there was no filament coming out through the nozzle. So I was, I looked at it and uh, the extruder gear was just spinning and it wasn't pushing the filament through the nozzle. So as soon as I realized that, I went ahead and I bought this um, metal kit online. And I will leave the link down in the description if you guys want to upgrade um, your uh, extruder. Also guys, if you have this printer, I, was, I will suggest you guys to invest in good uh, pair of pliers. I got these pliers to do the job, but I would say like get a small wrench uh, this can you know scratch the surface very easily but so here this is loose now so I'll take this right out okay thank god there's a little bit of filament now, once I'm done I will heat up the nozzle and I will just pull it back out and it will save me a lot of time so now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the motor And if you look here, uh, see there's a lot of corrosion. So I don't know, like I might have to drill this out or do something to remove this old gear so then I can install the new gear. And if it wasn't pushing the filament uh, into the board and tube and it was just digging into the filament and you can see there's a lot of debris of that filament. So yeah. So. I will go ahead and remove this old one and install the new one. Okay guys, so after drilling this out, I was able to take this off, so it came right off. But unfortunately, uh, when I was drilling the, you know, the small nut, I drill into the shaft, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna clean this up and then we will start installing uh, the new extruder. So, so now I'm just going to take out the new extruder. It comes with everything. It comes with all the hardware and everything. All the screws and stuff that you need to install this. And this is the base plate. It is made out of aluminum and this is the arm that will just swivel like... So I'm just going to go ahead and start assembling this. Alright guys, now we're ready to install this motor and I'm going to line up this base plate and I'm just going to put in the first screw and I'm just going to tighten it but I'm not going to fully tighten it yet and now here goes the second one and here goes the third one Now I'm going to install this drive gear. So I'm just going to loosen up these two small screws. Now I'll just put it on, I'll push it, I'll give it a push. Okay, it went too down, I'll just pull it back up. And I'm not going to tighten it yet, I'll just leave it like this. And now I'm just going to install this roller for the filament. And I will install this small screw. And there's a washer that's supposed to go under the head of this screw. So I will tighten this up. Make sure you get it fully tight. And the bearing is spinning 
freely. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this up. And there's a small screw which is supposed to go in here. Make sure you guys install this before you mount this um, arm onto your extruder because if you don't install it right now, you might have to open it up again just to install the screw. So I'll just install this arm and tighten it. So this is moving freely. Now we're just going to go ahead and install this spring. I'll move this screw out a little bit just so that I can put it, move in the spring. And now I will tighten it and it will hold the spring in place. So this looks very good. It's very tight. It's not as flimsy as the other one. It's very rigid. And there is not a lot of movement. So now I'm just going to go ahead and heat up the nozzle. I will take out this filament and then we'll give it a test and see how it prints. So I'll see you in a bit. So after some hard work, my printer is working again and the extruder is moving filament very smoothly. I don't see any stringing at all and the print quality is just amazing. So I hope you like this upgrade and if you like this video so please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video with a new topic. Until then uh, you guys have a good one. Bye. See you next time.